In most countries in the Western world, particularly for plastics processes, unless your margins are quite high, the cost of energy is probably roughly equivalent to the profit you make. And in most companies, 30% of the money you spend on energy, you're spending it because you're either too lazy, too stupid, or haven't thought about it. Develop a, a, a process map, an energy map, right? Map your heaters, count your motors, count your heaters, count your lights. Figure out where you're spending money. This is a process that takes you about an hour. I can map a typical site in about an hour sitting with the engineers. Map your site. Start to measure and record. Look at what your data is. Look at your energy used, production volume, your operating hours. Record that data. Right, and start to turn it into management information. I go into too many sites and they are washing data, but no information. Data is not the same thing as information. Report your results. One of the things that I think about is, if you, if you want to be nice and green here, do not report your results in kilowatt hours saved. Do not report your results in pounds, dollars, cents saved. Report your results in CO2 saved. London buses, swimming pools, Balloons, report your results in, in CO2 saved. Publish it monthly, distribute it widely. Put energy on the management agenda. If it isn't on the agenda, it ain't gonna get done. All right? I was at a site earlier this week and I said, okay, how do you look at energy in this site? And it, what had actually happened was the main meter was locked up and nobody at the site could actually get to the main meter. Their supplier read the meter, sent the bill in, the bill went into the site, to the purchasing department, was signed, put through the accounts, and was paid automatically 14 days later. The management of the site never even saw the bill. Two million dollars a year, and they never knew whether their metering was correct, they never saw the bill. All that happened was every month something like $140,000 got subtracted from their account. Read your bill, check it against your meters. Monitor consumption, look for, look for the trends. Look for reactive power charges, power factor correction. This is important stuff. Calculate the base load. That's what happens in a plastics factory. Is the performance characteristic line. Every plastics factory behaves the same. I've got data from about probably 100 injection molding sites, about 70 or 80 extrusion sites, innumerable thermoforming sites. This is what happens in plastics factories. We know that if you increase the production volume, the kilowatt hours used goes up. This is the signature, it's the heartbeat of the factory. We can calculate this and we know things called base loads. That's what happens, that's the amount of energy you use when you open the doors, it's your fixed cost. What you do when you get your base load, when you get that performance characteristic line, you've got an immediate method of controlling, assessing, performance measurement. You can start to say, if I produce 200,000 kilogram uh, 200, through the factory, I'm going to use 467,000 kilo kilowatt hours and it's going to cost me $32,000. What we've got is we've got a methodology, a tool, for actually saying, Mr. Production Manager, here is your target, here is what you spent, you use, or sh you should spend, you use more than it, you're a bad boy, do less of whatever you did wrong last month. You use less than, good man. Here's your Toyota Prius.